Just we try those searchlights, Charlie Brown. Killed it. Oh, everything I touch gets ruined. My name is Quentin Stucky, otherwise known as Stux, and welcome to another episode of my YouTube series, What the Hell Is That? Where we explain things you've heard of, but don't understand, ideally in 10 minutes or less. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. <coughs> This week, we're going to be covering another film, and since it's the holiday season, we're going to be covering a Christmas special. And yes, I'm fully aware that not everybody celebrates Christmas, but please don't cancel me for being Eurocentric. Please. Today, I'm going to be discussing the 1965 animated Christmas special, A Charlie Brown Christmas written by Charles Schultz and directed by Bill Melendez. This is without a doubt my all-time favorite Christmas movie. Not a year has gone by that I don't watch A Charlie Brown Christmas. I've been watching it since I was about eight years old. I usually watch it every single Christmas Eve and I'm sure that there are thousands, if not millions, maybe even hundreds of millions out there that also watch it at least around this time of year. Maybe not on Christmas Eve, but certainly around this time of year. I've seen this film on almost every viewing format, from watching it at 8 years old on VHS, to DVD, to Blu-ray, and now streaming online. There is a rough underdog charm to this special compared to the plethora of other Christmas specials. The animation isn't always the sharpest, the pacing is slower than what we're accustomed to in 2022, but there is something melancholically comforting about this depiction of the Christmas season. The main reason Peanuts has and still remains culturally relevant is simply because we can all identify with Charlie Brown. We can identify with his struggle to fit in, to be successful, and to feel valued and loved in spite of his flaws. And how many of us get struck with some holiday depression around this time of year and desire to make the holiday season something more meaningful than copious amounts of shopping and gluttony? My point is, at first glance, a Charlie Brown Christmas may seem rough around the edges, but beneath the roughness is this very unique story of community, determination, and hope. So a Charlie Brown Christmas. What the hell is that? A spoiler alert is definitely required for this video. If you've never seen A Charlie Brown Christmas before, then I would highly recommend that you pause this video and go and watch all 25 minutes of A Charlie Brown Christmas. I'm going to be spoiling a lot of, but not all of the film, so viewer beware. And I apologize in advance for how I sound throughout this video. I've been getting over some type of virus. I've been contracting a lot of illnesses since I moved to Europe. There are germs here that I'm just not used to. Germs that I don't find in Canada. Charlie Brown confides in his friend Linus that even though Christmas is coming, he feels unhappy. He enjoys all of the typical traditions like decorating the tree and sending Christmas cards, yet he feels depressed. Despite hanging out with his group of friends like Lucy, Schroeder, Violet, and Pigpen, he's still unable to cheer up during the most cheerful time of year. He resorts to using Lucy's psychotherapy table, paying five whole cents to talk about his feelings. After determining that Charlie Brown has no obvious phobias, except the fear of everything, Lucy tells him that directing their annual Christmas play could improve his outlook. He jumps at the opportunity, with Snoopy's excessive Christmas lights display demonstrating how the over-commercialization of the holiday is driving his depression. During rehearsals, Charlie Brown attempts to gain some control over the play's direction, but all the other children have no interest in putting on a non-commercial Christmas show. They just want to dance to Vince Guaraldi's piano. To set the proper tone for the play, Charlie Brown decides to get a Christmas tree from a nearby lot. Rather than picking a healthy-looking full tree, he decides upon a small, meek-looking tree. Perhaps a symbolic parallel to his own internal sense of self? I don't know. 
Maybe. He brings it back to the school auditorium, and all of his friends openly express their disdain for the tree, calling Charlie Brown completely hopeless. He asks in desperation, Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? True, sure, Charlie Brown. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. In response, Linus takes center stage in the auditorium, and completely from memory recites the nativity story from the second chapter of the Book of Luke, verses 8 to 14. And Linus quite straightforwardly tells him, That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. Of course, there is more to the origins and meaning of Christmas besides Christianity. I put a very useful documentary down below for your viewing pleasure if you want to learn more about the very rich history of the Christmas holiday that we know and love today. With a new understanding and appreciation of the meaning of the holiday, Charlie Brown collects his little tree and heads off into the night. He stumbles upon Snoopy's Christmas light display and takes a red bulb off of it to start decorating his tree. The bulb is too much for the tree, and it sadly bends over. The other children, having followed Charlie Brown without him realizing, they use the lights, decorations, and ornaments from Snoopy's doghouse and transform the meek-looking tree into one which embodies the beauty of the season. Charlie Brown is overjoyed by this gesture, and the film fades out as they all sing a rendition of Hark the Herald Angels Sing. A Charlie Brown Christmas is of course based on the influential award-winning comic strip Peanuts, which ran from 1950 to 2000, written and drawn by cartoonist Charles Schultz. The comic strip was praised for its innovative portrayal of young children, having them with almost no adult supervision, and utilizing the characters to explore such topics like human relationships, philosophy, psychology, and religion, among other topics. Something which was very unconventional for a comic strip at that period of time. And the main protagonist of the comic strip is of course the archetypal underdog, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown and the Peanuts Gang were first animated in the 1963 documentary A Boy Named Charlie Brown, directed by Lee Mendelssohn, with the animated sequences completed by Bill Melendez. The documentary never ended up airing, but it is available to watch in full on YouTube. I've linked it below. In 1965, the Coca-Cola Company decided they wanted to sponsor a Christmas special. With the Peanuts strip increasing in popularity throughout the 1960s, the company sought out Mendelssohn after hearing about A Boy Named Charlie Brown. Mendelssohn then contacted Bill Melendez and Charles Schultz, and the trio immediately started work on the special, only having six months to create the film since it was to be aired in early December, with an estimated budget of $96,000, equivalent to just under a million dollars today. Jazz composer and pianist Vince Guaraldi had written the music for A Boy Named Charlie Brown, thus he was also included on the production of the Christmas special. Guaraldi ended up composing some of the most iconic Christmas music that's ever been heard. In fact, I've been listening to the Charlie Brown Christmas soundtrack while I've been making this video. The most important things to know about A Charlie Brown Christmas stem from its rush production and its violation of animation television norms. Just considering that digital animation was decades away, the fact that the special was completed through the ink, paint, and cell process in six months is astounding. The script itself was written in a matter of weeks, with the initial pitch to Coca-Cola written in less than a day. Typically, adult actors were cast in every single role in an animated program, even voicing child characters. A Charlie Brown Christmas defied this norm by utilizing child actors, with Peter Robbins voicing Charlie Brown, Christopher Shea voicing Linus, Tracy Stratford voicing Lucy, and Kathy Steinberg voicing Sally, her being the youngest of the cast at six years old. Being too young to read a television script, her lines had to be dictated to her by the production company one word at a time. These recording sessions with the children were later on described as chaotic. However, miraculously, the voice recording sessions were finished in one day. That must have been a very long day. Good grief. It was also very daring for Schultz to write in explicit biblical references demonstrated most clearly in Linus's reciting of part of the Nativity story. These references were also continued in other Peanuts Christmas specials, such as 1990's It's Christmas Time Again, Charlie Brown. Christmas specials never usually featured such overt religiosity back then, and even today they really don't since our societies have become more and more secular. Now, whether it's a good or bad thing for Schultz to include these kind of biblical references in a Charlie Brown Christmas, I leave up to you. But you have to remember that one of the central topics explored in the Peanuts comic strip was religion, and Charles Schultz himself was a man full of religious faith. Since the special was being sponsored by Coca-Cola, in the original broadcast there are many moments of product placement, such as when Linus is thrown into a Coca-Cola sign after being swung around by Snoopy on the ice. These moments were later cut from syndication and all home media releases. But if you'd like to see a side-by-side -side comparison between the uncut and the cut version, then I've linked it below. And you should really check it out, it's very cool to see. 
When the special was completed, many of the people involved, along with CBS network executives, were not pleased with it. The executives disliked the slow pace, the rough animation, and Giraldi's jazz piano-centric music. Nevertheless, A Charlie Brown Christmas premiered on December 9th, 1965 on CBS. Snow time, winter time, Christmas time. The time of sugar plums, Santa Claus, and at last those lovable children from Peanuts. Enjoy A Charlie Brown Christmas. Meet Charlie Brown, Schroeder and Beethoven, Lucy, and that impudent hound, Snoopy. That's terrible, Charlie Brown! Here comes Charlie Brown now. Listen. Thanks for the Christmas card you sent me, Violet. I didn't send you a Christmas card, Charlie Brown. Don't you know sarcasm when you hear it? Be here as your favorite comic strip comes to life. This year, enjoy a Charlie Brown Christmas. And of course, the reception from both viewers and critics was extremely positive. A Charlie Brown Christmas completely opened the door for an entire animated series of Peanuts-related projects, including more holiday-themed specials and feature films. It was also groundbreaking for what was possible in animation. In a similar way that the comic strip dealt with topics and themes not typical for the medium, the Christmas special utilized technical aspects not featured before in animation, especially utilizing child actors to voice the characters. Without a Charlie Brown Christmas, it's possible that we wouldn't have other animated Christmas specials like How the Grinch Stole Christmas, also based on an illustrated text, or even Frosty the Snowman. I would argue that the Peanuts franchise in general, along with the likes of Walt Disney and The Simpsons, revolutionized Western people's attitudes towards narrative and the animated, cartoonish form. Good grief, now I just want to binge watch all of the Peanuts specials. Now that you know what the hell a Charlie Brown Christmas is, I would highly recommend that you watch it this holiday season. That's all the time that we have for today. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe, and the Patreon link is also linked below. Any money that you give me helps me to bring on better guests, it allows me to purchase even better filming and lighting equipment, so any amount helps at all. $5 a month, $15 a month, anything at all. Thanks so much for watching, and happy holidays.